Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so today I'm working on a smaller canvas. It's a 12 by 12. I've got some Australian Floetrol mixed with Titanium White by Amsterdam, which means I'm looking to create some lacing. And I'm gonna do a swipe using some of my leftover paints. All of my paints are mixed with a pouring medium. So I go for one part paint, to three parts pouring medium. So I'm really excited to use these. I really wanna do a piece that kind of draws the eye in along a line. So let me show you what I mean by that. But first of all, let me get the base coat down. This is a green blue. It's an iridescent green blue by Pebio. All of my colors are listed in the description below. So let's see what we can create. So I've got a consistent coverage on my canvas. I'm just tidying up my sides. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a line from one corner, moving into the middle, and then to the other corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my mixture of Australian Floetrol mixed with white titanium by Amsterdam. And I'm just gonna put just a soft line, and it's gonna be a guide for me. So, the line that you see me now drawing with my paint is going to be the line that I layer all my colours on top of. So that's just a little guide and I'm just going to use a little bit more so it enables me to create some lacing when I swipe out my design. So I'm going to take one colour at a time, one by one and layer them on top of each other. This is a Prussian blue. I love Prussian blue as a color. I love blues anyway, but Prussian blue is definitely one of my favorites, although it will dry a lot darker than what you see it. This next blue is an ultra marine blue by Liquitex. Again, I will list all of the colors and the brands in the description box, so check those out. But as you can see, I'm just using my stick to drizzle the paint on top of each other. I'm not using too much paint, and I really need to be mindful that I'm using quite a few colors one by one. So when I put some paint on top of each other in that line, I want to ensure that I have enough paint to create the design that I want to create, but not too much paint so it's flooded and I have to get rid of some of it. I'm going to add a little bit of this precious gold, iridescent precious gold by Pebio. This is one of my favorite gold tones. Just a little bit over the top, drizzled on with the stick. So I'm going to now take my Australian Floetrol that's mixed with white titanium by Amsterdam. And I'm going to also drizzle that all along the top on top of all of those colors that's going to help me prepare the paint to swipe out. Then that's what the element of this combination is that creates the lacing that you're going to see. So for my swipe, I'm using toilet paper, a dry toilet paper. I don't dampen it first. I allow the paper to connect with the paint, it absorbs slightly onto the paper, and then I allow the paper to glide on top of the paint as I swipe out. I do not apply too much pressure, I just allow the connection between the paint and the paper, 
and then drag it along slowly and swiping it with a glide. I'm going to repeat this process now so I can swipe all the paint that I've layered on that line. And as I always say, don't be in a rush to do this. Just enjoy being in the process of the here and now. And if you're not already aware, last year I wrote and produced my own online course about mindfulness. It's about mindful well-being and using art and creativity to practice your own mindfulness. If you'd like some more information on that course, please check out the description box. I've added a link and I've added a coupon that you can get some money off as well. So be sure to use that. I've had some great feedback from the course and the people that are doing the course already. So I'm confident that you'd really enjoy it. If it's something that you want to do yourself, to gift yourself some time to relax, pause, stop from the chaos of the everyday life, to help you practice your own mindfulness and your own mental well-being by using art and creativity, and there's a number of exercises that are guided and non-guided, then that course might be something that interests you. So check out the information below for a little bit more detail. One thing that I do when I do my creations is I look at the balance between the negative space and the creation itself. So here, I'm leaving some negative space. So on this occasion, the color of the base color on each corner. And then I'm just swiping out. And if that's a block of color that meets the edge, then that's fine. If the block of colour doesn't reach the edge and you see a little bit more negative space, like you can see in the left top corner now on your screen, then that's okay too. It's about creating a composition that you're happy with. So for this design, I'm happy to leave both corners with the negative space shining through. And then the creation itself, where the colours have been layered on top of each other and being swiped out, creates that pattern on the surface of the canvas that I want your eye to be drawn to. Now, this area here hasn't got too much lacing. So I'm just adding a little bit more Australian Flow Troll, which is my cell activator. And I'm just gonna swipe that out again with a little bit of toilet paper to ensure that I get a good flow of lacing across the whole piece. So don't be scared to do that yourself. If you see an area that you feel that needs a little bit more attention, then Go over it, add a little bit more paint and swipe it out. I'm now taking some smaller pieces of paper and just swiping around this design. I'm looking and stepping back. I'm looking at the overall piece and the overall composition. And I'm looking at it and deciding what areas I'd really like to swipe more of and what areas I'm happy to leave.
So let's have a closer look at the wet version and oh my goodness, I absolutely love the colour palette. So I'm really pleased that I've chosen those colours to go together. I love how some of that gold is really shining through. I love some of those details. Obviously, the cell activator has created all this lacing that you can see. But I really like the composition of this. My eye is really drawn into that line in the middle. And then there's whispers of colour going off at each side. Some of them have cells and lacing. Some of them just have lines and block colour. So it's a really good balance using this technique. What I'll do is I will let this dry and then I will show you the dried result. And here we go, the dried version. It's not yet varnished. I will apply a gloss varnish to the top, but I absolutely love the details of this piece. I love how those colours have infused together and combined such a stunning, beautiful lacing over the top of that line that I created. I really, really enjoyed working with this colour palette and I think I'm gonna use much more of this in the future. Let me know what you think. If you're trying something like this too, then tag me in your post. I would love to see what you create. As I leave you with some of the close-up details, I just wanted to say thank you for your support. Have a great week. And remember, when you create, enjoy being in the moment of the here and now and enjoy that process that you're in. Thanks again, everyone. Take care and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.